What up, card community? Welcome back and welcome to my channel. As usual, a very awkward intro. That's my life. So this is the first vlog since being back. The weather has not been great. Apparently, it's officially fall, which I totally missed that. But I refuse to believe it's fall, even though I'm wearing a sweater in August. In any case, um, we're about to go to the market. Like I said, it's been, I think I said, it's been raining all day today. And so I don't know what the market's going to be like. I don't think I've ever gone to the market in the rain. So we'll see what it's like. Wendell is creeping. She's just a sleepy cat. Yeah. My app said it was 12 degrees. What is it called? I don't know. According to my app, it's 12 degrees. Let's go find out. I mean, it's not warm. But it's not cold. Like, I'm just going like this. <sighs> Strife. Okay, we're going to the market. We'll see you there. All right, Kurt. We made it to the market. I'd say it's significantly less busy than usual. Would you not agree? Oh, it just smells like dill. That was great. <gasps> oh, sunflowers. Cute. Is that dill? The freshest of herbs. Oh. Gone. I like those straws. <gasps> I need this. I need this sample because it's delicious. Other. I like cookies. Go get it. The ice cream stand's not here today. Not exactly a day for ice cream. Any day is a day for ice cream. <laughs> they have Saskatoon berries. Any pickled things? Garlic date! <gasps> That's me! Give me this one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's my favorite fish place. Thank you. I gotta go get me a sample of fishes. Oh, it's so good. Peas on earth. <laughs> Peas. Hey crew, so we're back now. We got a good chunk of goodies at the market, including this one little squash. So I'm gonna attempt to like spiralize it using my this device. And we're gonna see if I can make some noodles with it first. So I will vlog this experience and then I will show you what I create. Let's see. Let's keep in mind I've never done this. I don't know what I'm doing. So if I'm doing this totally wrong, then don't come for me. Okay. 
What do I do now? Oh my gosh. Do I cut this part off? Let's try going from the other side. Wow, this is working not at all. She's like too big. Oh my gosh. That's what she said. Do I cut it in half? Okay, I'm gonna cut it in half and just see what happens. This is gonna be really weird to do though. Is it the highest quality ever? Absolutely not. Is it something to work with? Yes, it is. Okay, so with that zucchini, I got this much pasta, and in that one experience, I learned a lot, which included do not half your zucchini. That was a poor idea. Um, when it doesn't fit, I guess, just like trim around the edges, but I don't know. Like, I felt like the outside was the best part. And then you end up with like giant hunks like this that you can't really do a whole lot about. So, I don't know. This is my first time doing this. It was interesting. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you do this, how you do this, if I just did it brutally the wrong way. Um, but yeah, I think other than this... I would boil it like pasta, but I think it's going to cook really quickly. So I think what I'm going to do instead is like fry it up in a frying pan with a little bit of oil and then throw some sauce on top. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge. And then when I make dinner for real and I cook this up, I will show you what it looks like as a final result. So we'll see. It's been created. So it definitely looks like quite a mush. Like there's a couple really good stringy bits that look like pasta, but a lot of it's like really small. But um, we'll see how it tastes. I mixed it with this stuff called Ajavar. I got it from like a little Italian store. I don't know what it is. But I don't like tomato sauce. So I was like, let's try this. So, yeah. And then I added in some salmon. So let's just, let's get my first impression. Are we ready? Are you ready? I, should I be? I don't know. Let's try it without the salmon first. I'm scared. not offensive it's actually really good I wish they were all this long they're not
But now I know how to not cut in. Let's see an eggplant. What's an eggplant? A squash? Is that what it was? Zucchini. Zucchini. Stop. That's really good. I'm proud. Try some. Can you try some? Why? Oh yeah, you don't like zucchini. It's strange to me. Well, this is delicious. I recommend it. I think it's made out of like like the paste is made out of red peppers. They might have eggplant in it. But it's really good. I added like a little bit of salt and then I just like pan seared it. And then yeah, I threw this in like a good healthy tablespoon and then just mixed it all up. And then like I said, I threw in some like smoked salmon. Yeah. I mean I'm gonna finish this. This is good. We'll eat again. Hashtag gluten free. Would recommend. This was good. So it was a white zucchini, not like or like a yellow zucchini, not the green one. I don't know if the green one tastes much different, but we'll see. I might make it again. Obviously I'll have to buy more zucchini and obviously I'll have to figure out a better way to cut it. So that way it fits properly and I can get nice long strands. Oh, and I also took that, like, I put it in a bowl. Um, I dumped it into, like, a washcloth and, like, squished all the water out. So, yeah. That's what I did. Cooking with Sarah. Hmm. So bougie. Hey crew, so we're at the old Strathcona Antique Mall for their last um, like yard sale style sale and we found some interesting things um, including an allegedly real Academy Award I think it was and the gentleman let us know it was $2,000 so that was interesting. And um, yeah, we're just kind of like creeping around. So I'm filming all the neat bits. Wow. Here at the antique mall for their last like yard sale style sale, and I met some really cool people, so I'm here to introduce them. Hey, car community! Hey, car community! I'm Anthony. Hi. So Hi. nice to meet you. Yes, thank you for watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Always so cool being on camera. So they have a cause. They're supporting LGBTQ on which reserve? Well, actually, actually, what we're doing is we're helping to build a cultural healing center at okay. the UN Cree Nation, okay. which is the First Nations community three hours east of Edmonton. Okay. And so our goal is to raise two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to build a physical space to heal the culture of the community. Cool. cool. Yes. Are you guys going to be at any other locations in the next couple weeks? We have our viewing party tomorrow at the St. Paul Rossetti School. Very so think it's available. Cool. They're free at Eventbrite. Cool. Tarks, I mean, vitals at Eventbrite.ca. Yeah. You can find out more about our fundraiser at gofundme.com slash restoreharmony. Okay. I will link it in the description. Awesome. So, there we go.